So when he started talking to me, I actually didn't want to pause. I don't mean to talk to me, all the women. <laughs> yeah, so I was I was reluctant to even just to listen to him because he seemed like he was catching a lot of attention from other women. So I was just keeping myself off. Yeah. So I was this guy who's just, uh, you know, open to everyone, talking to everybody. But maybe in the mind of the ladies, they were saying some other things, apart from maybe uh, me just being a new guy and all that. Actually, around that time, because it was a small church, and we would notice any man coming into the church, and like all the ladies around there, had already spotted him and they were so interested in him. He spotted me. <laughs> this man spotted me and he came, yeah, he came after me. But what particularly made me to uh, focus more on Doreen was the way she used to carry herself out. She was so different and she had her own standards. Uh, she was just different. So I developed some curiosity, like this girl who just comes to church and immediately after church she disappears. And <laughs> who is she? You know, so up on the Nikanza, quite curious. And Nikanza uh, could make my moves. Pole pole, I was able to, you know, to pam mystery. Let me let me say let me say one thing. <laughs> you know, actually, how we got to start talking, he sent me a text that was meant to be somebody else's. Up to this day, I think that text was intentional. <laughs> he claims it was a mistake, so that's how we started. Because it was not a nice text. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, today I only want to tell everybody that was a well calculated text. Oh, really? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because I had thought of many ways of reaching you, and you used to be very serious and you're like okay. giving me a hard time, you know, to reach you, and I'm like. I want to know more about you, so I had to... <laughs> and to me, that was actually an icebreaker. I think the first description I would give about Maurice is that he's a man after God's heart. That's what I was looking for in a man, not just a man who goes to church. There's so many people who go to church. But for Maurice, he loves God. He loves serving God, and that's, I think, above everything else. He's a man of God, and I love that about him because I was looking for a priest. So I wanted to marry somebody who's a priest in the home, and I found one in Morris. You know, the, the very first meeting I wanted to meet Doreen, I met her in a place which was uh, quite close to her estate where she lives. I made a suggestion if we could meet. You know, there was a restaurant around there. The whole story. She didn't want to go there, and uh, apparently it's because she wanted like to know so the kind of a person I am. That's why she she wanted me to take her somewhere good, somewhere she really likes. So she tasked me, Kanipa uh, Kazimingi, kuakikisha kumba ni metafta mali pazuri fakukutana nae. Apo ndo lianza kuona. She's she's unique. She's different. So. And I feel like any time I look at her, I feel I'm more attracted to her every day. I feel like I just want her in my life. Yes, there's something she has that I need. <laughs> yeah. And then another thing, Maurice is also, he's disciplined. That I'm saying because I have, we have gone through thick and thin. 
especially in the issues around women. Oh, women come after this man. <laughs> yeah, I've seen women throwing themselves at him. a good heart and he also goes out of his way he's gone out of his way a number of times he does not just think about himself but he thinks about other people too and he was handsome don't you think so he is really <laughs> uh -huh, you are oh, handsome wow, thank yeah. you and that's what i love about him and there's so many other things that we could spend the whole day here but those, those three key things, that's what attracted me to him.